so why is this important? It is very important because um, my teachings and what I bring into the world is not out there. Of course, I have a website. Of course, I have my Instagram page. Of course, you can go and check my teachings and my articles and uh, 5,000 pages of resource on my website. I've got like 3,000 videos on YouTube and all that. And that's very important. That way you get a glimpse. But my teachings are me. <laughs> this is, I am the teachings. It means that if I teach something that is abstract, that is not embodied in my field, you are going to feel it. It's like walk your talk, right? Walk your teachings. Express it through an embodied, uh, through your embodiment, through how you bring that into your life, that you are actually integrated, that you have integrated what you're teaching. And as much as possible to be in integrity with you and integrity with the teachings that I bring into the world, I don't uh, teach and I don't promote something that I'm not embodying myself. <laughs> Why? Because otherwise it would be a fraud. Otherwise I would be, um, you know, pretending to be something that I'm not. So I cannot lie to you. If I'm lying to you or if I'm not being in integrity or if I'm projecting something on social media that I'm not embodying directly, then... Um, and then I'm lying to you, and that's not cool. So one of the, the core principles that I try to bring into this, this world and into my teachings is a, is a principle of integrity. It means that the person that you see on social media is the person that you're going to meet when you come here to meet me at my temple. There is no um, real filter. Of course, you know, there are distinctions. There are certain things in my personal life that I'm not going to be public about uh, in, uh, on social media because either... Uh, the world is not ready to hear them or, you know, there might be, there is still some filter, of course. It's not a full, absolute, complete uh, transparency. But what I want to say is that more or less the person that you see right now here that is talking to you is more or less the person that you're going to meet if you come to my temple. Uh, this is the way I communicate usually with people. I'm not trying to be a persona that I'm not. So... If you, for instance, you see me right now and you feel that there is something that is embodied in that person that you go like, okay, well, I'm intrigued by what Shiva is doing because there is a certain form of balance or there is something that he seems to be achieving on a daily basis that seems to be working, then I encourage you to come, come over here. And you go like, hey, Shiva, how are you figuring this out? What's, what are the details of your diet or nutrition? How do you navigate this aspect of your life? Please teach me so that I can accelerate my life as well. And I want to, to learn from you. I want to be able to uh, pick your brain so that I can integrate those different aspects of your life into my being.